So when we looked at automatic reporting last time, we actually generated a report and put it on a drawing. This time what we're going to do is we're going to look at generating a report, but we're going to send it to an XLS file. So let's have a look at that again. We've got our JIC automatic reports drawing there. Now, before you do any reporting, you must make sure that your drawing is added to the project. Otherwise, it won't report correctly. So we add that information in. I need to renumber there. So I've got 0, 1, 2, 3. So that there needs to be drawing 4. So I just need to change the sheet value to 4. That's updated nice and neatly. Now, again, we go back to report format setup. We're doing a component report. All of the settings will remain the same. So schematic, include components, include cable markers, include connections. This time, though, we're going to save the report to a file instead of putting it on a drawing. So we go save report to file. It's going to be an Excel spreadsheet. We're going to include the project values. And we can also say that those project values go on the first section only if we wish. And then we're going to put a file name. Now, the file name this time will be component report and we'll call it automate, as in automated like that. Then we know. Now I'm going to browse and I'm going to put that on my desktop so I know exactly where it is. So we'll go here, desktop. Like I did last time when I was creating the reports, we'll put it there so we know where it is. So I'll save it there so we know it's going to go there. I'll OK that now. We're not putting it on the drawing, so I don't need to worry about any of those settings at all. Installation codes, location codes, just set those to all. And then we save as format file. Now, last time we called it comp report one set. We're going to call it comp report XLS this time because we know it's going to an XLS file like that. And I save. That adds that to the list. And there you go comp report XLS set at the top of the dialog and click on done. So that's now ready to go. What I've got to do now is just run my automatic reports again. Component. Select my XLS report set file this time and add it to the list. That's all ready to go. Notice it's set to file output. And all I've got to do now, I don't need to worry about drawing name. I just click on OK and off it goes. It'll save the drawing first. That's an automatic thing. And as you can see, that's gone to Component Report Automate XLS on my desktop. So what I need to do now is I need to open up that component report and have a look at it. So that's easy. I'll go down to the Windows taskbar. And there's my Component Report Automate XLS. And there's the tag names. As you can see, there's the fields for the drawing and then motor, relays, fuses and so on and so forth. So there's all the information in my report that I've generated. Now, obviously, I've created an Excel spreadsheet file this time that can go to somebody else. Things can be updated. And again, I can import data from the report if I need to. In this case, it's an actual physical file I'm creating rather than a table on an AutoCAD drawing. 